Hello everyone, I'm Jim and this is Warren and you're watching Talking Vintage show number 39 brought to you by Decades Reclaim Vintage Depot located at 502 West Brennan Road, Lakeland, Florida 33813. Wow, That's that was pretty good. good. You did yeah, good. You did, did really good. good. I know all that stuff. Well, you sometimes it's easy we to say it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the show. If you've never watched the show before, we talk about vintage stuff. We talk about being a vintner in a vintage shop. We talk about um, the, shop? the shop itself, Decades Reclaimed Vintage Depot. So thanks for watching us. Uh, we're, it's only eight minutes long, so you can stay through the whole thing. I'm sure you'll be thoroughly bored by the end, but please stay, stay and watch we, we, the whole thing. We try to make thing. it entertaining. Yeah, we do, we, we do. do. We do. All right, yeah. we're going to start off with entertainment. We're going to start off with our joke. Oh, How did Dark Fader know what Luke was getting for Christmas? He felt yeah. his presence. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, today, today is November 1st. Today is All Saints Day, the day after Halloween. Uh, today, in 1972, Jenny McCarthy was born. Do you know who she is? Sounds familiar. Yeah, she's, she's an actress. A, yeah, actress. She's, actress. She's yeah, she was Playboy model actress, oh. and she was. See, I never she's on that voice. that show, the the Mass Singer, I think it is. Oh, I oh, think yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I think you're right. Yeah, and in 19, 1982, Honda became the first uh, Asian company to make vehicles in the United States. In 1982, there was an uproar. Yeah. Oh, it's all, but it was there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about what is hot. Okay, I went online and I got what everybody says is hot in the industry or whatever. I had vintage shops, and Warren's going to guess. Some of them I got and some of them I made up, and he's going to guess if they're hot or not. And I'm going to tell you whether they're hot or not here at the shop. Are we keeping score? No, no, no score, score here. Okay. All right. Because you don't have a list, so how am I going to win? I'm going to win because I already know the answers. Well, maybe next time. There you go. Well, okay. All right, vintage Christmas. Oh, yes. Definitely hot. Well, it was hot last year. Right. We don't really know this year. That bell means somebody just came in the building. So we're mm -hmm. going to try to get through this show. Okay. <laughs> we might have to say hello to somebody, but it's all good. So, yeah, Vintage Christmas was big last year. We just got it out recently here at the shop. So I'm going to say, yeah, so it's going to be hot. Yep. Um, vintage magazines. Ooh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We don't have a lot of them. No. And it's been surprisingly the ones that we have had. Have sold most recently, oh, cool. so yeah. So you got nice. that right. Okay. Vintage toys. Huh. I'd like to think so. Well, industry-wide uh, yeah. they are, but yeah. not so much not here so in much the shop here, no. because that's what he deals in. He deals a lot in vintage toys and hasn't been selling a ton of them lately. But, you know, as Christmas gets nearer, then those yeah. pick up too. But, yeah, supposedly hot in the industry right now. Milk glass. It's working its way back, I think. I think it, it is, yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't have a ton of it, and we've had people come in and asking about it. Um, years ago, it was really big. I mean, you know, we had it everywhere, and we sold it all the time. But, um, yeah, so it's it's hot again. And then um, old Tupperware. Uh, it was at one time. I think it's gone a little slow. No, I think it's still hot. It's still hot? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah you know. Well, you we have a, well, yeah, I mean, I have it, and I sell it, but I think a lot of the vendors have it now, so... You know, I say it's not as hot as it was, but as a whole, everybody seems to be selling pieces. So, yeah. So that's it. That was that was our hot or not in the industry. What can what else has been selling here? Well, do you know? Oh boy. You know, collectibles. Uh, yeah, some yeah. some collectibles sell. Right. Uh, comic books we sell okay with the Pokemon we sell. Right. Um, pretty Record, good. Records have gone sort of. Well, sort it's of the sort of, genre of yeah. the record. Yeah. You know, if you had the '80s. You know, we sell more over there on the on okay. the eighties and nineties than you do back in the fifties yeah. and sixties. Yeah, that's true. So it's the genre that counts. There's still people out there buying them. Yeah, not um, as, as good. Not as, yeah. not as well. What is? I, okay. I don't think any. I can't think of anything specific. Well, that's, glass seems to be, you know, still trending yeah. a little bit. We wrap up a lot of stuff. So that's here at yeah, the shop. Yeah. A decade you claim vintage cheapo. You need to check them out. You can check them out on Facebook. That's the best place to see what they've got going on. You can check them out on the web at decadesreclaimalloneword.com and see what they've got going there, too. Um, let me see. Uh, now we're going to move on to our vendor corner. Uh, you're a vendor in the shop. We kind of just helped everybody as a vendor because we told them what was hot or not. Um, yeah. yeah. Get your stuff out. Yeah, yeah. if you haven't already. Get we talked about that last yep. week. you got to get your yep. holiday out. Yep. If you haven't got it out already... It's not too late, but you, you're you're missing some sales already. So get get your holiday out before the rush. Yeah, we we talked about how to be successful. You know, um, go ahead and and clean and 
and move stuff around. But if you're, if you're, what if you're a vendor? Um, like a, we had a lady came in this morning that asked about being a vendor and had never done it before. You got to have a lot of stuff. You may think you have a lot of stuff, but you got to have, I would say, at least twice as much. Like if you have a booth, you got to have double the stock to fit in a booth. So if 500 pieces fit in your booth, you need to have a thousand at least. And then you need to have the ability to, to keep to re to replenish. To right? replenish yeah. yeah. So um, that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to have stuff. Everybody says they have a ton of stuff, but then they don't. They wind up in the first couple months selling really well. And then, um, you know, the rest of it just is slow sellers and it doesn't go. And they, they're not replenishing. They don't have the, the back stock or the means to get stuff. So, yeah. So if you're out there and you're, you're thinking about doing it um, and it, you know, make sure you have plenty of stuff and make sure you're willing to work. Well, yeah. You know, because if you're not going to come in and tend your booth, it's not going to sell. You can't blame it on the shop, whatever shop you're in. You can't blame it on them because um, they wouldn't have the doors open if the shop didn't do its part. Uh, it's it's on the vendor. It is great. It's on the vendor to move her stuff around, change pricing, figure it all out. It's on the vendor. And the shop can help you, but yeah. if you're not a successful vendor and there are vendors in the shop that are successful, then it's you. It's not the shop. Right. So and here are decades. We have quite a few successful vendors, so the ones, um, you know, that are struggling often are the ones that aren't putting the time in or the effort in to make their mini, mini business yeah, successful, because yeah, yeah. that's what it is. It's oh, it a is. mini business. Exactly. Yeah. Well, hey, good morning and welcome morning. to Decades. There you go. See, that? there's our customer. We just say good morning <laughs> to them. Um, okay. We got up and coming events. Yeah, yeah we're, um, well, we're, no, I, November, November, we've got the craft, the craft fairs right. coming up this month. Right. Right. And then at the end of the month is the turkey hunt. Hubble, hubble, gobble, or yeah, the turkey um, yeah, okay. the turkey right. hunt. And then next month would be the uh, Santa hunt. Um, there's a Black Friday sale in yeah. November too. Yeah, so check out Facebook. For we'll all keep that you stuff. posted yeah. as well. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes we can't tell you what's coming up because on when we shoot the show and when it posts. So that's right. why we always say refer to Facebook. Yep. So we can tell you little things that are coming up. We can't give you dates and exact times and all that kind of stuff. Um, that, I think yeah. that's about yeah. it for the show. We do you have 30, anything else? 30 then? seconds to kill here. Uh, um, you can tell uh, another joke if you want. No, I'm not. You got to do better than that. Joke. You know, you, you really um, need to remind everybody that. to share our video. We begged last week to get some shares. We didn't get any, so we're going to beg again this didn't week. Didn't we get any shares? No, we did oh, not. Man. So everybody share this week. Okay. Okay, so huh? please. I mean, that's it, just well, kind of helps us out. You got another customer. Yep, yep. So thanks for watching our show. Um, I'm Jim. That's Warren. You've been watching Talking Vintage. See Have a great night. See you guys next week.